Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens, and today we're gonna to take a look at the brand new Aurora Duo Cart. Let's take a look. All right, so here's the box for the new Aurora Duo Cart. Very vintage inspired look. Uh, beautiful box. Uh, let's open it up. We have the full mount. We've got box, we've got uh, a nice bottle of Aurora Black, which has got a little cardboard vintage looking sleeve on it. Comes with a couple cartridges, Aurora cartridges and a converter. And it comes with the box, put this on the way. Now the first run of duo carts came with actually vintage boxes, uh, blue or uh, black, and they eventually ran out of those. In fact, if you have one of the first run of the duo carts, you'll notice the box smells a little musty. It literally sat in the Aurora factory for quite some time. The Aurora Duo Cart was made in 1954. Uh, so the original design is 60 years old. Basically it was a cartridge version of the Aurora 88. So there are, there are similarities between the two. Uh, now it comes in just a standard Aurora leather box. Very nice box. Um, I've got the black version here. There are two different colors. There is black with chrome and then a burgundy with gold cap. Let's take a look at the black here real quick. And very, very simple design. Black barrel, we've got a little chrome button on the end. Nice simple click, clip. Uh, Aurora on the cap band, made in Italy. Nice looking pen, and it's got some weight. The cap's got some weight to it. Post it there. And it's a good, good size in the hand posted. Uh, we've got this multi-ringed clutch ring here. And as you can see, it's semi-hooded. And this is very much like uh, the old Aurora 88. Uh, this uses a steel nib though, as opposed to gold. And we flip it around, we see the feed. You will notice the feed does kind of taper off a little bit, and that is um, just how they are. And this is a cartridge converter. Now the original pen, Duo Cart, meant that you could take two cartridges back to back and keep them in the pen. Well, nowadays the pen is a cartridge converter and the Aurora cartridges are long, so you can only fit one cartridge in there, but the name remains. A thick barrel, it's got a little brass insert in there. Let's take a look at the gold version here. Same idea, we've got the gold plated button on the bottom. Now the, the burgundy here has a black section and a gold plated steel nib this time. So this one I have a converter in and we're gonna ink this up. Standard Aurora converter. Unposted in the hand. Now let's take a quick comparison here. I've got a couple of other pens in the 50s and 60s, a lot of manufacturers came out with hooded pens. Everybody had them. Of course, the most famous is the Parker 51. Uh, Parker also made a 21. They made a 45 with a semi-hooded nib. Uh, everybody really got on the bandwagon. Even Platinum made a, a hooded nib pen. Um, but let's compare how they look here. So you can see even on the Platinum in the 51, there's very little nib showing, but the, the Duo Cart kind of rounds it off and shows a little bit more of the nib. Now the original 88s had a very soft, uh, soft nib, almost semi-flexible. Uh, not the case with the Duo Cart, it's a fairly firm nib. Uh, I would not try to uh, 
uh, to get any line variation out of it, but you can see the difference in the hood design and even the clutch ring design too. So everybody was doing this in the 50s and 60s and they were all trying to copy this guy here, the 51. Got my standard Rhodia pad. Got a bottle of Mont Blanc Black here. And again, this is cartridge or converter. The dual card only comes in one nib size. It's kind of a fine medium um, nib. So there are really no nib options. You basically, your options are whether you want black or you want the burgundy. Has a little bit of feedback, kind of similar to almost a, a sailor nib. And it's gonna be a good pen to uh, make some quick notes. But again, it's not, not a soft nib. Don't try to flex it. So there you have it, the Aurora Duo Cart. Be sure to catch us online at andersonpens.com or our store in Appleton, Wisconsin. Thanks for watching.